destination right now. I'm heading over to Mellow Johnny's Bike Shop, owned and started by Lance Armstrong. So pretty cool place to visit. I would recommend visiting the place, whether or not you're a fan of Lance Armstrong. Ride one of these scooters, but so I'm gonna go meet one of my former colleague Flow Bikes, Ian Dilly. Lives here in Austin. We're gonna have a couple beers. Should be right up here. Welcome to Austin. When, when was the last time, Ian? We were escaping oh, the UAE yeah, yeah, yeah. right when coronavirus broke out. We were locked in for a couple days and finally we broke out in the middle of the night. Rental car from Abu Dhabi to Dubai. Seven o'clock this morning here in Austin. I think I had too many tacos yesterday. I met up with my old colleague Ian and last night we went to see the capital, the Austin capital. The Texas state capital is right close to the center of Austin. So on an electric scooter, buzzed up there. I got a cool view of this big US, uh, Texas capital that they say is bigger than the US capital. Really cool. And then buzzed down to Rainy Street, which is a street full of all these old bungalows that they turned into bars and it's just a whole nightlife. Had a few drinks there and a few tacos. So maybe too many tacos, but Hey, it's part of the whole Texas Austin experience. And now you know, of course, what I need, a coffee. Oh, that's better. Another gorgeous day in Austin. And just for reference, this is Congress Street and right up there, you see it? That's the capital. Destination right now, I'm heading over to Mellow Johnny's Bike Shop. The bike shop owned and started by Lance Armstrong. So I'm gonna check it out. I mean, really anywhere you go, there are places for good coffee. Look at that joint over there, it looks pretty cool. I hear at Mellow Johnny's, they do a good coffee, so I'm holding out until I get a coffee there. Let's go. And I found it, this is the place. Let's go check out the bikes. Look at here, down these steps here, we have Lance Armstrong's, more of his bikes. There's all his bikes up there, bikes down here. His first BMX bike, an old red line, the thing looks beat up. I wonder if that's originally his bike. It's pretty cool that he kept it all these years. Okay, this trek here is from the 2001 Alp de West stage when Armstrong bluffed a bad day. Look back at Jan Ulrich and then hit the throttle, went on to win the stage. Up top there, another trek bike, probably one of his first years with US Postal Service and back beyond there, one of the team Motorola bikes. Really like the Lance Armstrong Museum here at the Mellow Johnny's Bike Shop. You get the whole history. All those seven Tour de France yellow jerseys are on display, controversially so, but they're here. Yeah, this is good, this is good. Overall rating, eight out of 10. Coffee quality, 10 out of 10. It tastes good, this flat white ambiance. I'd give it a six out of 10. Not a bad place. Value, $5 for this. Okay, let's go. That was a trip down memory lane at Mellow Johnny's Bike Shop. Seeing all those bikes also reminding me of all the years I've been covering the sport of cycling. And yes, Lance Armstrong. I think I remember one of the last times I saw him at a bike race was the Tour Down Under. He rolled the window up on his rental car as I was trying to ask him some questions he didn't like. It's a controversial subject. What's your opinion on Lance Armstrong? Let me know down in the comments below. But like it or not, he's one of the famous citizens here in Austin, Texas, and that bike shop is worth a visit. Even though those seven Tour de France victories were taken away from him, they remain quite impressive in a generation that was fueled on drugs and all sorts of input and output of blood. But hey, those were the times. Those jerseys all up there on the wall, officially the titles have been taken away from him. He's still got all those cool bikes. It's cool to see because if you're a bike fan like me, I love looking over all those old parts and seeing how much bikes have developed all these years as too. All the mechanical shifting, the old Chinelli bar tape, the old quill stem. Now you got the different type of stem, arrow handlebars, hydraulic brakes, the cables go through all the tubes. Not those bikes, that's the old school. So a pretty cool place to visit. I would recommend visiting the place whether or not you're a fan of Lance Armstrong. I would still want to visit and I loved it. Now we're heading off to another place recommended to me. It's supposed to have a good view. Let's go find it. This is not it, but there's no shortage of coffee shops here in Austin, Texas. Look at this hidden gem. It's up at the top of the public library here in Austin, Texas. You get this garden and this big rooftop setting. Oh, I think it would be making better would be a cocktail in your hand. Look at this. Imagine sitting up here reading a book and watching the sunset over the river. 
Austin. Look at these things. Used it last night. Pretty cool way to get around the city. That does not look good. The police just caught that man and they're carrying off a shovel. What was he doing with a shovel? I'm a bit lost right now. I'm also in search of a good place for lunch. Well, you guessed it. Tacos. These things are addicting. Mm -hmm. Good. Carne asada. Finishing this lunch. And then I'm heading out to my colleague's house. We got a fire pit set up today for Flow Bikes. We're gonna do an end of season review, have a couple of beers around the fire pit and talk about all of our favorite moments. That place is pretty good. Overall rating, seven. Ambiance, lacking. I would give it a five out of 10. Food, eight out of 10. Value, seven out of 10. Two tacos, bottle of water, $14. This guy's great. He's like me at home. Under pressure, maybe not the best results, but I'm sure it still tastes great. Confirmed, tastes great. I'm running a bit late for this fireside chat, but at least I have my coffee. Only in Texas. Big dually pickup truck with the loud muffler on it. Yeah, one thing I gotta say about this coffee, Michael, it's expensive in the United States. I paid nine bucks for this flat white. So make a man go poor drinking coffee in the United States. Got these C stands, got them hauling back there. We're gonna set up this fire pit, I hope. We're ready, the fire's going, we have beer. Show's about ready to start. Okay, show done. First segment did not go so well. I had all the fire and smoke uh, from the fire blowing in my face, but we got the whole thing wrapped. It was a 2021 wrap up and looking ahead to 2022, making a few predictions. Michael was good, Jessica was great. We're getting out of here before the storm comes in. Gonna get back into downtown. Check out this car. That was a modern day Dodge Charger, a muscle car. You see all these big cars here in the United States. It's pretty cool. That truck was massive. That fire pit was smoky. I got completely smoked out and I need a shower. I gotta get all the smoke and just ash off of me. It was cool sitting around the fire with Michael and Jessica talking about the modern generation of cyclists. Talking about your Walt Vanner, your Matthew Vanderpool, your Tom Pitcox, your Taddy Pogachar, all these modern guys. You know, Austin, Texas, was known for Lance Armstrong. It's cool to see his bike shop today, but there are new guys here in town too. Chad Haga, Lawson Craddock. Those are the guys now that call Austin home. It's a whole new cycling landscape now. I don't know if you're following cycling now or if you follow cycling. Another muscle car. I don't know if you followed cycling before in Armstrong's time, you follow it now. Let me know in the comments your favorite cyclist. If I had to name my favorite cyclist, well, my cyclist of the year was Walt Van Ert. Anyway. Back to the hotel, I gotta get a shower, and tonight, a slice of pizza before I leave town.